We're talking to uh, the Robins' assistant manager, Neil Tolson, after the 3-0 defeat against uh, Woking. Neil, a very strange game, really, and difficult to know uh, what to make of it. But, to be fair, the, the fans clapped us off the pitch at the end. Yeah, that's right. We're, uh, again, we're disappointed that we've, we've lost the game 3-0. I, to be perfectly honest with you, I don't think, I think you're spot on. It wasn't a 3-0 game. Um, you know, we could quite easily have been in the lead at half-time. Second half, to come out the blocks early doors. Got a goal. Um, we've then had Griff sent off uh, in quite quick succession and then after that you're chasing the game to be fair to them after that they've kept the ball really well but we've just said to the players then you, you kept going for us and, and we can't ask for any more than that so we're pleasing on the on the aspects of what the lads have given us they've kept going trying to get something out of the game but obviously disappointed uh, with the 3-0 result We've started the second half, first couple of minutes, very, very well. But then they've had five or six minutes when they, they've had a goal disallowed, could have got a couple of goals, and eventually they have scored. Then within a few minutes, we've lost Adam Griffin. So we've had a bad maybe eight or nine minutes there. That's right, yeah. And and teams like, like Woking, and, and we've had a chat after the game, me and the gaffer, and they're probably the best football inside we've played. Them and Grimsby, I thought Grimsby were very good as well. Um, the best football inside that we've played. So if you give them time on the ball, they're going to utilise... The space they're going to utilise the, especially when they're down to ten, we're down to ten men. They're going to utilise the extra man, and and keep the ball from us. So it was, it was a very very difficult ten minutes. Um, but again, after that, once we'd soaked it up, you know, we, we we tried our utmost to get back into it. And as I say, we can't ask for any more than that. What was your take on the uh, sending off of Adam Griffin? It, I, I, I hold my hand up, and I'm, I'm not saying it because. Uh, doing what most Premier League managers do and say uh, I haven't seen it I genuinely didn't see it but I know Adam Griffin and I, I assure you now there'd be no there'd no, be, be no maliciousness in that tackle at all he's, he's a lovely lad and he would definitely not be going in tackles to uh, to uh, anyone He we spoke to him after the game and he says his, his foot gave way as he was going in and he, you know unfortunately there's no stopping you when that happens um, but I assure you now there was no maliciousness in, in the tackle at all there were some positive aspects uh, to the game. We've created a few chances in the first half. Wonderful effort by Jake Malt, which if it had gone, it would have been a sensational goal. And uh, there was a bit of controversy when Damien Reeves was taken down and the referees uh, elected to book the players. A difficult decision for the referee, I think, that one. It is. It's, uh, it's central to the goal. Um, I spoke to the fourth official and the fourth official said uh, it was because he didn't have the ball under control. Well... You know, it's one of those, t I can understand why the referee hasn't given it, but on the other hand, you could see other referees giving it. And look, referees' jobs are hard enough as it is. Um, they don't get the, the privilege of looking at it over and over again. They have to make it on what they see. Um, but, but the reason he said it wasn't a red card because he felt that Damien didn't have control of the ball. But if, you, if, you, you know, if he's not brought down, then you don't know whether he's going to be in control of it or not. So it could have gone either way and... You know, I, I thought all in all the referee did a, did a decent job today, so no complaints really. With what happened in the uh, second half, which was quite unusual to be to be fair, um, it's almost like easy to forget the first half. But it was a good game of football. Both sides had plenty of chances, and they they had a, a shot that rasped the bar, which is an incredible effort. That's, that's right. It was it was uh, there was end to end, as you say, especially first half. They was having chances, we was having chances, and again we've got to take take the positive of that they're. They're a top six. Like they, they will be there or thereabouts come the end of the season, and and for, for especially for the first four to five minutes, we've we've caused them all sorts of problems. Um, again, they've caused us problems, which you know Stewie's made a couple of great saves and the lads at the post, as you say. But but you know we've had chances. Um, Reeves has had one, uh, you know, and he's pulled one back for Jimmy Laurie. Um, as you say, multi shot. We, we we've created chances against a very very good side, and those are positives that we need to take into next week's fixture. It was an interesting decision that Damien made there because, first of all, the keeper was a bit out of position. He, he could have lobbed him, but it would have been a difficult lob. Then he's advanced on goal. It's a bit of a tight angle. Uh, you sort of half expect him to drill it to the far post, but he's pulled it back and in some ways been very unselfish. And to be fair to James, a little bit unfortunate because uh, the ball sort of, his first touch wasn't great and it's gone away from him. It, it, it was 100%. I, I, we, we spoke to Reeves at half time, barely, and I, again, I was a centre forward. 100% it was the right thing to do was to pull it back. Um, if you speak to Damien, he'll tell you it's not the best pass he's ever done. Well, that happens. That's that. You know that happens from time to time. That and and that's the quality that we need to work on. That we are working on in training. That when you get those opportunities, you make the right decision, which he has done. But you then you go and execute the pass correctly. So, 
you know, it was it was it wasn't the best pass and Damien will tell you that. But the pleasing thing was he it was the right pass to make. And rather strangely, in our last uh, or two of our last three games, we've lost three nil and four nil. Complete difference uh, today between the performance than the one against uh, Welling. But overall, we're in pretty good shape. Yeah, I, I think we are. Uh, I think it's a great point what you just made. The, the, the support here, clapping the lads off because uh, they know that they've given us they've given us the all. Different circumstances, a bounce here or there, and we we could quite easily be walking off. You know. One nil winners, two nil winners. You know that that's the way that it goes. But as long as they're giving us the role and they're working hard and never giving in, we're, we're always going to have a chance. I suppose if we'd maybe gone down one nil at Grimsby on uh, Tuesday night, drawn today, everyone would have been sort of pretty happy with that. But uh, that's just the way it goes with football. Yeah, and uh, the Grimsby performance for me was it showed a real backbone and a real fight and a real determination to get some points and uh, and we, I know I've, I've said it now about the third or fourth time they've done that today it's just that we've got punished by a very very good side who've you know we're down to 10 men they've utilised the space they've utilised the extra man and you know and, and they've caused us problems but they'll, co they'll cause teams problems with, with 11 they'll probably cause teams problems if they play 12 men they, you know they're that good at, at passing and moving the ball and when you're down, you're down, and things certainly went badly for us in the in the second half. For Simon Richmond, what happened to him? It was just a, a bang on his knee. Al's had a look at him, and Simon Simon should be okay. Um, the the other one that, that obviously finished the game with nine men was uh, Ryan Crowther. Um, Ryan's on his way to hospital. He's uh, he was having difficulty breathing, uh, especially with deep breaths. Um, he may have done something to his rib, but he's going for an X-ray just to, just to make sure he's okay. Yeah, we could see him. He sort of gradually went down, and he, we, he was sitting to be holding his back and a bit uncomfortable. And then over about a five or seven minute period, he seemed to gradually go down. And eventually, he collapsed in a bit of a heap. Uh, that's what I, I actually mentioned it to uh, to Alan early doors. Uh, and as you say, it was about five six minutes. You could see him gradually and gradually getting worse. Um, but Ryan's uh, excellent player. He wanted to carry on, but you know, if you're having difficulty breathing, it's not. Uh, it's not the ideal situation. It wasn't the ideal situation to bring him off and leave us with nine men. But you know, at the end of the day, we need uh, Ryan fit and healthy. So you know, um, Al's made a decision saying he needs to come off, and unfortunately, it's cost us another goal. But again, that's football. And um, the last time I interviewed Lee Sinnott was after the Welling defeat, and we were talking about bringing players in on loan um, for different reasons, perhaps, than we might be talking about it tonight. But tonight we are getting a little bit stretched with the squad, with Mike Williams out on loan, a couple of injuries and a, and a suspension to deal with. Uh, there's probably some decisions to be made this week. Yeah, I, uh, I'll leave that to the gaffer. That's, uh, that's his call. But no, we, we, I, even with the players that we got, we, we're pleased with the squad. They're a good set of lads. They play football the right way. Uh, they're trying to improve. But if there's players out there that you know that can strengthen the squad, then we have to, you know, we have to have a look at those options. Um, we're always looking. We're always on the lookout. But you know, we're relatively pleased with where we are and what we what we're playing. And and as I say, we're still creating chances, which is the most important thing. That's uh, Altrincham assistant manager Neil Tolson there after what's been a disappointing day, but uh, within context, despite the fact the team have gone into, back into the uh, bottom four this evening, uh, we've had a really good couple of weeks with those performances against uh, Grimsby, Macclesfield and FC Halifax Town.